When I fall, I will arise. Micah chapter 7 verses 7 and 8. Therefore, I will look to the Lord. I will wait for the God of my salvation. My God will hear me. Do not rejoice over me, my enemy. When I fall, I will arise. When I sit in darkness, the Lord will be a light to me. And we want to take some time this week to talk about coming back strong. There are times in our lives when uh, difficult things can happen and put us down. And we feel like we are down at the bottom end of the barrel. We are at the lowest rung of the ladder. For some reason, life seems to have caved in. Uh, life seems to have collapsed. Uh, and uh, uh, this could be through various situations and circumstances. Uh, sometimes trage tragedies happen. Sometimes unexpected things happen. You know, people get laid off work. Uh, they lose a steady source of income. All kinds of things, unexpected things happen. And we find ourselves down, flat on our face, on the ground. Suddenly, everything that was bright has turned into darkness. Uh, life seemed to be going so well. And suddenly, in a moment, everything has shifted because of unexpected tragedy or calamity. But what do you do? What do we do in those moments? What do we do in those situations when we seem to be suddenly at the lowest end rung of the ladder, suddenly down on our faces, down on the ground. Micah tells us, he says, I will look to the Lord. I will wait for the God of my salvation. So there is a twofold posture that he's taking. One, he's looking to God. Second, he's waiting for God. Meaning, my focus is on God and not on my own situation. We're not saying that the situation is not real. We're not denying the pain, uh, the confusion, the struggles that could be going on, the turmoil that could be going on on the inside. We're not denying that. But what we're saying is that in the middle of all that, what you and I need to do is to look to God. Keep your eyes on Him. Keep your gaze on Him. Keep your focus on Him. Keep your thoughts on Him and say, God, in the midst of all this, I look to you. And second, he says, I wait for the God for my salvation. Meaning, I am in this place and in this posture when I know God will intervene. My time will come. The time when this darkness will be shifted, when this, uh, this whole situation will change, I know God will come through. So I wait for the God of my salvation. My God will hear me. I mean, God will listen to my prayer. God will see what I'm in and he will answer my prayer. So he says in verse 8, do not rejoice over me, my enemy. You know, in other words, people are saying all kinds of things. He says, when I fall, I will arise. When I'm in darkness, God will be a light to me. Meaning this thing is going to change. When I fall, I will arise and I sit in darkness, God will be a light to me. I want to encourage you, this is for you and for me, that even if we fall, we know we will arise. God will turn our tragedies into great triumphs. Look to God, wait for Him. He has heard our prayer. He will be a light to us in our darkness. Let's pray. Father, we ask that you'll help each one of us come back strong. No matter what's put us down, help us to arise and turn darkness into light. Because we look to you, we wait for you, and we know you hear our prayer. Thank you for doing this. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.